Kelsey Cortez here, bringing you an exclusive interview with Electric Slide writer-director Tristan Patterson, only on The Daily Court. So Electric Slide is based on a true story of a guy named Eddie Dodson, who um, had an Art Deco furniture boutique on Melrose Avenue in Los Angeles in the late 70s into the 80s. And then in 1983, he robbed 63 banks in nine months. The story of the film is a framing device of um, this girl had just arrived in LA right before he started ro robbing banks. So it starts the first time this girl sets eyes on him and then ends the last time she sees him. It was really exciting. Um, it was nice to finally realize it. Um, and it was really fun to see um, these characters that you dream about start to, they become real. I think I probably like films that are driven by sort of moments. So I'm always looking to capture moments that feel authentic or memorable or beautiful to me, you know? And so it's sort of like, letting actors be really authentic and letting them surprise you and just watching and observing and waiting for something exciting to happen. <laughs> it's definitely like a, a sort of fairy tale about him or, or a sort of, like I was trying to make a movie that if he saw, he would like, you know? Um, but it's really true to, I mean, I, I had all of his Polaroids that he took from the era. Um, and so we were really specific to like the wardrobe, the style. On one hand, like trying to stay totally authentic to the story, but then on the other hand, trying to sort of capture the the mood of what it might have felt like to be Eddie in this one specific moment in time. It's great, and I'm really excited to show it in New York and um, Tribeca is a festival that has so many filmmakers that I admire. So it's I'm like excited to be in their company and yeah, excited to be here.